What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. You have reached Tesla Pickup. I'm Dave. Thank you for tuning in. Alright YouTube, it feels like it's back to normal. I feel like the back in the old days again. The reason why I say that because your boy is on his way to the Goodwill. Yes, here in Louisville, Kentucky. Things started to open up today. Today's the official first day of the Goodwill, along with other companies as well. Uh, some of the other thrift stores that I go to still ain't open. You know, like my bread and butter store that I used to go to, the one I call bread and butter. It'll open to the 26th, but it's just next week. So, you yes, know, sir. your boy's gonna get over there as well. Um, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, your boy's a reseller, part-time reseller. I go to thrift stores, estate sales, uh, yard sales, things like that pick up product and resell on eBay. You know what I'm saying? If you like stuff like that, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? It's free. It don't cost you anything, all right? So right now, if you are, if this is your first time, this will be your first time you experience a thrift store haul with me. And I'm just gonna go in here for five minutes. I'm just gonna hit the shelf. You know, you know how you got a routine. You go in, chef. I mean, uh, <laughs> hoard goods, hoard goods, hoard goods, and I'm out. It's only like three hours of hoard goods. Get on the way out, I might peep the shoes just to see what's up. Then it's, you know, it's a, it's a little t-shirt aisle too that I might just run my hand across to see if I see any single stitches or something like that. But that's it. You All know right. what I'm saying? That's my whole routine. I don't spend a lot of time in the Goodwill. So let's go in here, see what's up. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Let me calm down. I'm on 10. Let me get back to at least seven and a half. Let me get back to average. All right? C plus, something like that. So uh, I'm calm now. Um, I just pulled up to the crib because I forgot something. Oh, <laughs> then I'm gonna go on, back man. out, hit this Goodwill's up, and see what we see, all right? Let's go. I guess they're open, right? I'm guessing. Right. <laughs> it looked like it, all these cars. We'll see. Good morning. Hey, Welcome how you doing? Well, we are practicing social distancing. We have hand sanitizer here, and all of our carts are sanitized. Good morning. All right, thanks. Hey, so uh, I was wrong about the Goodwill. Hold up, let me take this contraption off my face. I was wrong about the Goodwill. Man, they have, the shelves is packed. <laughs> uh, as far as electronics and stuff, they was packed. Clothes is always packed. You know how clothes is in the Goodwill. Um, a lot of stuff I, I left, I mean, 
you know how you can make profit on something, but it's just not enough, you know, it's not your time to, you know, shipping it, making sure it's, you know, packed good. Like, uh, when I see big receivers, I'm always like that. I'm like, unless it's like a total win-win, I usually leave it. Uh, with some receivers where I probably could have made, you know, $20, maybe $25. Would have had to pay up to get that though. And then you have to pack. So I'm like, eh, I leave those there. So, I mean, as far as that, there's receivers, there's DVD players, uh, VCRs, none of the high risk ones, uh, the high price ones where I'm gonna quadruple, quadruple my money. But um, they had some nice stuff there. I was shocked. And they were still bringing stuff out as I left. I mean, uh, when I was leaving, getting out of line, I seen the chefs with more stuff. I was like, oh man, I need to turn around. But I would've been all day in there. Spent about 10 minutes in there. Uh, didn't show you everything, but when I get home, I'll show you what your boy picked up. You know, he picked up some all right stuff. Um, I might have to go to the Goodwill tomorrow. Yes, sir. Maybe the next couple of days. I, I got a feeling, uh, the way they was talking in there, I kind of hear him talking in the background. Um, basically, they were stocked with stuff. You know, they gonna be bringing stuff out all day. And uh, I guess our Goodwills is not going by that stock once per day thing they couldn't do that man they would they'd be out of stuff so here i go rambling i know how i can i can make this i can make this video 30 minutes you know what i'm saying <laughs> let's get home i still ain't been asleep yet i got off work this morning it's about one o'clock now so i need to get home let me show you what i got what i got real quick and then i'm gonna take my butt to sleep all right all right all right your boy's back yes sir hopefully you can see me GoPro. i can't see what i'm doing Hopefully you can hear me because the wind's blowing like crazy out here, but it's time to do it outside. Just want to show you what I got real quick. Let's get right into it pretty quick. First thing I got was this DVD-R. This is only 99 cents. These don't go for nothing but like $12. Um, it's kind of heavy, I don't know. We'll see, I might sell it, I might not sell it, but hey, it was only 99 cents, so I picked it up, it was sealed. I knew the DVD-R usually don't go for that more, much. It's usually that RW that gets the money, but um, so yeah, 99 cents. Um, got this 1996 Harley Davidson t-shirt. Um, pretty nice. Like I said, 96. Um, you know, there's so many t-shirts online. I don't know if I'd be able to find it. Yeah, the airplane, you would want to go past. Come on. Bruh. I don't know. You know, I might list it for like $30 or so. See what I can get. Um, yeah. You know what a Harley Davidson t-shirt looks like, but $2 at the thrift store, how to get it. It just stood out to me. I wasn't going through the t-shirts, I just happened to see it and it was there. And I told, you know how I am, I don't get clothes no more unless I see something like it sticking out. So I guess it was a great buy for $2. I'm gonna make some money on this. Don't know how much, but I should make some. All right, I'm done being professional. <laughs> how to grab the camera. I'm just gonna show you this stuff real quick cause it's about to rain and it's felt the rain drop and I'm gonna get all this stuff off the deck, so. Now the garbage truck is coming. Come on, Wayne. Oh, come on, man. I can't live today. It ain't meant for me to do this. Anyway, got this breast pump. Uh, it's used, but it has a lot. If I can get it, it has a lot of accessories in it. Uh, I put some comps on the screen. It was, I seen them going for about $40, $50. I paid 399 dollars for it. So it was a great buy. I probably could get more because it got some extra accessories in there. So we'll see when it's time to list. That was a great buy. Um, shows you that. Oh, let me just go right on to this. You know what I'm saying? Got the whole Wii in there. I ain't show y'all. I did show y'all that, I believe. Oh my God. Um, whole Wii in box. Uh, the Wii's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of dirty. I need to test it and see if it works. The joystick wasn't in there, but everything else was in there. Um, I paid up for it. I paid $11.99 for this, I believe. And, um, I should be able to get that in some more, even though it does come out the joystick. I might have an extra joystick downstairs in my basement, and I can throw a game in there with it too to sweeten the deal. Um, like I said, you know how it is. I'm gonna list this quick because, you know, everything's starting to open back up. I want to make sure I get in on that run. You know, everything going top dollar right now, so I'm gonna list this as soon as I get in the house. Maybe I'm so tired. Who knows? <laughs> so I got that. That was a sweet find right there. Um. What else should boy get? I just picked up this piece right here. This is an OEM radio. Looks like it came out of uh, came out of some type of Ford. I don't know what. Uh, I'll usually do pretty good with these. I only sold maybe five or six of these. Every time I see them in a the thrift store, I buy them. Uh, I pay six dollars for it. 
Uh, I have to look up the comps. I don't know what this is going for. I'll put it on the screen. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it works out. Hopefully I'm not showing you a comp for $5. Bruh. Picked up this Brookstone alarm slash everything. <laughs> Paid $2.99 for it. I'll put some comps on the screen. I believe this is going for some pretty good money, even used. So yeah, um, they were sitting over there. I know I can get more than $2.99 for it. We'll see. I don't even know what all that does, but it looks pretty cool. This, I, of course y'all know I ride road bikes and I knew this was gonna go, go for some pretty good money. It's brand new zip uh, for your bicycle. Like if you got a road bike or a mountain bike, I don't know exactly which one this is for, probably a road bike. And I know Zip is a pretty good brand. Um, I put the comps on the screen. Like I said, I don't have them. I didn't look it up before. And um, but I know I can get more than three ninety nine for this. So hopefully that's a good buy. I know that's a good buy. Your boy's starting to go outside of his element, man. Bought some glassware, some old Pyrex. Um, what are these saucer bowls? Whatever you want to call them. Um, I believe she gave me this one for 99 cents because it didn't have the top. Uh, but yeah, it's Corning Wear Pyrex. Uh, I've seen some nice comps, okay comps, you know. Um, depending on the day, I'll put some on the screen. And um, I told y'all, I'm, I'm trying to go outside of my element. I'm starting to try to purchase glass. This ain't really considered glass. It's considered dishes, I guess, but it's glass. <laughs> um, but I got this whole set. I got this for 99 cents. $2.99, $2.99. So I might, depending, uh, I've seen a lot of these listed individually and they were selling. And I, I see like one of these go for $24.99. These are both the same. And uh, I couldn't find this one, but we'll see. Like I said, they don't have the top. So I just seen it there while I was in line checking out, threw it in the basket, and we'll see what happens, right? I also seen this one in line. Uh, these are just pretty cool. I can put these on my bar if I want to. But I might see if I can find them. Old Value City. Um, I believe this is the Ace, Jack King Queen Ace of this package. And um, I just thought those was pretty cool, so I picked them up. Got them for $2.99. Probably can get more than that. And last but not least, our old personal pickup. Let me lay this out first. Personal pickup. Our old personal pickup. How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? Reversible pro line, NFL, Nike joint. Y'all know I'm a Cowboys fan. When I seen this, I had to pick it up. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people are hating right now under their breath while they watching this, but it's all good. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm an 80s baby. Grew up in the 90s, so we had our run. What up, Cam? <laughs> you okay? Daddy, so, uh, look, at look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Is that Cowboys? Yes, Are sir. you keeping that? Yes, sir. Yay! Anyway, I got this for, uh, what was this? $3.99 day? I believe I got it for $3.99. So yeah, that's going into the personal collection. Um, and speaking of that, I just answered the question about do I buy anything for myself at the thrift market as far as clothes? There's my piece right there. You know what I'm saying? When I see stuff like that, sportswear, things like that, I make sure I get it, especially living in Louisville, Kentucky. You can't find a lot of Dallas Cowboys stuff, a lot of anything, NBA, NFL, because we don't have any NFL, NBA teams here, NHL, baseball. We have minor league, but not major league. Uh, we do have a soccer team that's about to start here soon. So uh, shout out to us. We're doing something over in Louisville. <laughs> anyway, that's it, man. I spent a total of $52 today. I think I'll be able to, I, I can sell one, I know one piece. It's worth that alone. The weed, and I ain't even talking about the weed. The weed, I, I'm, I'll probably be able to get that. Um, and then the dishes too. I mean, so I think I did pretty good. This is my first, you know, a little rusty first day out after the quarantine. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be good. Peace.